Hey guys, I'm Corey. Welcome to another episode of Zipper Tubing TV. Today we are going to talk about EMI shielding. What is it, how it works, and hopefully get you guys a better understanding about it. Basically, EMI shielding or RFI, it comes in two forms. It comes in actually an E shield wave and it comes in an H shield. Now, the H shield, when people refer to that, that's actually a magnetic version. Typically when you have a, a, a magnetic field, that would be from like a large power cable, something like this. Something that you're running very high current through. And oftentimes these high power cables, uh, they're put next to an actual signal wire. So in the event that you actually have a signal wire running next to a very high current power cable, such as in this application right here, the way to test and actually see if it's a magnetic field is to take and cross the wires. If you actually cross them at 90 degrees, as shown, will actually eliminate the magnetic field. A lot of times the interference, your signal output, anything like that that would come from a magnetic field, it's gonna be mitigated by crossing the wires here at 90 degrees. Now, magnetic fields, they don't go that far from the actual power cables themselves. So, by either spacing the cables far enough apart, if you have the ability to do that, or, like I said before, we can actually cross these at 90 degrees and eliminate uh, any of those magnetic fields that may be causing any type of disruption in the actual signal wires on your application. Mm -hmm. 